Hey, 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 everybody. How are y'all doing? It is Daniel Wiaffi here, and I am the president and the director of marketing of Vegas Divorce Pros out here in sunny, as you can see, Las Vegas, and somewhat cool and cold Las Vegas right now. It's like 40 degrees out here. And um, every morning I get out and I do either a walk or a two to three mile run. So definitely a great, awesome way to get your blood up and pumping and running and a great way to get your day started uh, on a peaceful connotation all right so anyways you guys and ladies if you are needing a divorce an annulment legal separation bankruptcy pretty much any type of legal help then make sure that you uh, contact us at the link that is in the description of this live video at vegasdivorcepros.com VegasDivorcePros.com will get you a free 15-minute uh, phone consultation, okay? But today, you guys, let's talk about three tips on how to strengthen your marriage. So a lot of times people think that because I'm the, quote-unquote, the divorce guy, that uh, I'm a big proponent of divorce, 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 and that I hate marriage or that I'm not really you know, up for the, the sanctity of marriage. All right. And that got to be further from the truth. You know, I've actually been with my wife since 2000. So that's been 20 years. All right. And we've been married since 2004. And, uh, so we're going on actually 17 years here next week of marriage. So I definitely cherish the, the, I definitely cherish the the marriage, the institution of marriage. And I believe that when two people get married, that they definitely need to put their full effort into maintaining that marriage. I don't believe that people should rush to get out of their marriage or rush to break up or rush to get a divorce. All right. So even though we make our money off of divorce, I don't push divorce if that makes sense. All right. Uh, if you need a divorce, then yeah, we're going to be here to help you. All right. But the same way a doctor doesn't push for his or her patients to get cancer, but they're there if they do have cancer, right. To help heal them. And the same way that an insurance broker doesn't push for your house to burn down. But if your house burns down, they're there to, to get you that claim. I don't push for people to get divorced, but if they do find themselves in a marriage that is irretrievably broken, hey, we're there to help you out of that marriage, all right? So three quick tips, you guys, uh, uh, that I've learned from being married and dealing with uh, pro uh, not tens of thousands, but thousands of people all across the country over the past 12 years of doing divorce divorces, you guys and ladies is this uh number one you guys if you want to strengthen your marriage and have a happy marriage remember happy wife equals a happy life and if your wife is not happy then your wife is going to be a knife remember that fellas but first thing is date nights all right uh go on a date night every single week at least once a week all right and what you want to do is you want to keep that spark within your relationship. And that's what many, many men fail to do. All right. And many women fail to do as well is we fail to keep that spark that we had initially when we first got together with our spouse. And you remember when you first got together with your spouse, how you saw the birds and the bees and you're just in love and nobody could tell you anything bad about your spouse. All right. You just fell head over heels with that man or head over heels with that woman, didn't you? Yeah, you sure did. But what happens, you guys, is over time, we tend to lose that, that love, that emotion, that feeling 
All right. And so uh, what happens in that case, you guys, is uh, when that does happen, you guys, um, uh, when that does happen, you guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, you guys. This right here is my brother in law, Greg. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> so he's actually just married. Just married. Yeah. Tell him happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Now, now, early morning business time. Yeah. Hey, take it easy, my man. Right. I, I was actually headed your way. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. UPS, though. Okay. All right, man. So, um, you guys, uh, it, it's funny. Yeah, I dropped off my son at uh, at uh, my brother-in-law's, sister-in-law's house for uh, school. You guys know that coronavirus has everything shut down. But go on a date night, all right, with your spouse. And what you want to do, you guys is uh it doesn't have to be anything too big or whatnot right it could be as simple as you guys going to the movies i know coronavirus has shut theaters down so it could be as simple as you guys renting movies getting a bottle of wine it could be as simple as you guys uh just going on trips one thing that me and my wife uh do is we uh on occasion we we live in las vegas obviously and we'll just rent out a room at a hotel or at a villa uh, out here in Vegas or elsewhere and we'll just go on like a one or two or three day staycation where we stay in town okay um, just do something you guys which takes you out of the norm all right that's the thing which uh, keeps your love and it keeps your relationship on point where um, you guys feel good all right you guys get that lovey-dovey feelings all right because you want to have that spark and that excitement within your relationship and that's really really big okay uh tip number two you guys uh going from date nights right so don't lose date nights all right super important all right but uh leading from date night to tip number two to strengthening your marriage you guys is sex 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 in case you didn't hear it the first time, sex. All right. Uh, that's one thing, you guys. Um, when you go on your date nights, that's probably going to lead to sex. All right. Now, uh, one thing that uh, people do, and I'm not going to st uh, stay too long on that tip, you guys, is you want to get out there. You want to get freaky. You want to get nasty. You want to have fun with each other. You want to explore each other's bodies. You got to keep things as tight as it was when you were young, okay? Even if you don't feel like having sex, you guys, you should push yourself to get out there and do it because there's something that happens, you guys, when uh, we get intimate with each other. And uh, when we get close and personal with the, uh, with each other, you guys, and we touch you guys and unite and we bond, all right? Just the very act of having sex, you guys, has strong uh, spiritual and emotional and physical impacts on you. And it raises your serotonin levels and it helps to connect you with uh, your spouse, especially if you guys have been drifting apart because what happens is uh, when many people are together for a long time in their relationship, they begin to drift apart because they lose the excitement, okay? And so sex actually strengthens the bonds, all right? Uh, for us men, most of the time it's easier for us to have sex because uh, we're physical creatures. And so, you know, you tell us, hey, let's have sex, ladies. You tell us, hey, let's have sex. Hey, we're ready. We're like standing at attention and we're ready to go, right? Um, and guys, if you're older and your stuff ain't working, your plumbing ain't working, there's ways around it. But that's another uh, Facebook Live or video. And ladies, ladies are a bit more difficult uh, because ladies, ladies aren't as uh, physically driven as us men when it comes to sex and uh, physical intimacy. And they're more emotional, emotional uh, creatures. And so with ladies, uh, ladies need to be in the mindset. Uh, you, uh, man, you need to make your ladies feel like they're beautiful. You need to make uh, 
them feel like they're queens, put them on pedestals. You have to tell them that they smell good, that they taste good. You got to make them feel like they're special. You got to roll out the red carpet, especially if you have a lady that's uh, very, very uh, apprehensive or defensive when it comes to that. All right. And one big rule, you guys, is um, if one partner wants to have sex, you know, uh, just have sex. You know, don't don't be in one of those stances where you're like, oh, I'm too tired. OK, uh, the one awesome thing about me and my wife is there's times I'm tired, you know, she'll wake me up and she'll start nudge on me, start kissing on my neck and whatnot. Hey, you know, I'm tired and maybe it's two o'clock in the morning. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Okay. When they call your number, when you're playing sports, football, basketball, when they call your number and they call you back into that starting lineup, you better be ready to play ball. And I really do mean play ball or play balls, whatever. Uh, and the same is true with her as well. Uh, if, uh, I'm feeling it, then she's always ready to go. So that's a beautiful union. All right. Uh, third thing you guys, third and last thing you guys is, uh, learn to laugh at yourself. So the thing with, uh, being in a long-term relationship is many people, uh, couples that get too serious. All right. And when you get too serious with each other, you guys, you, things get tense, things get weird, there starts to be a lot of animosity, and what you want to do, you guys, is just learn to laugh at yourself, and when you learn to laugh at yourself, what happens is you naturally are inclined to forgive that other person that your wife or your husband if they do something that pisses you off or gets you angry or whatnot, right? And, uh, just learn to laugh things off. All right. So, so what if, uh, um, uh, your husband left the toilet seat up? Okay. You know, it's kind of whack, you know? So what if your wife didn't cook dinner for you tonight? Okay. So what if your husband, um, came home an hour late? All right. So what if, if your wife got a dent in the car? Okay. Uh, learn to let things be you guys and not take things so seriously. Because there's more to life than just these little minute things, okay? Um, I strongly believe that family is the biggest and the strongest institution. And just like we invest in our money, our jobs, we should uh, put our best and our most valuable resources into strengthening our marriage and strengthening that uh, bond and that institution of family. Okay. So those are my three tips to strengthening your marriage. Hope you guys like peace of God bless. If you are needing help with a divorce, <laughs> I know that's a crazy segue, but if you are needing help with a divorce, if you have questions, if you want uh, some advice, uh, feel, please feel free to contact us at uh, the website that is in the description of this live video at VegasDivorcePros.com. Peace and God bless you guys and ladies.